if you go to the core of it right the reason akshay kalpa exists is to make farming viable you know the average age of a farmer today in india is 45 what's going to happen 20 years from now who's going to be growing our food so akshay kalpa wanted to change this so when we started like that we said what can give a farmer a daily source of income people have been drinking milk for over 10000 years right so people know that it is a part of their daily diet it does satisfy a large part of people's uh, nutritional requirement right and to answer that question the daily source of income could happen through dairy and that's why akshay kalpa started delivering milk is organic uh, vegetable garden and from the beginning till now no we have not applied any sort of chemical fertilizers and pesticides to this uh, unit and this is wholly managed by naturally grown uh, plant based pesticides and this is a self sustained uh, unit and uh, because of these uh, trees no lot of microclimate is established microclimate means the temperature no when compared to the outside temperature no this temperature is Uh, normally 2 to 3 degrees less than that uh, temperature so this we want to create a model for the farmers to replicate at their level in future we call the farmers to to visit this place and educate them all on all aspects of uh, uh, creating organic uh, vegetable garden and here recording the month wise uh, rainfall in this area also and uh, we record uh, the month wise total production average uh, daily harvesting out of this uh, total uh, Uh, production and productivity per square feet on monthly basis we collect uh, the data and it is uh, recorded for availability for others to see also nan hesaru ratnamma anta nan ille pakka urinda bandidini 6 varshinda kelsa martta idiri ille 26 tara tarkari ide ond ekre illa tarkari beladre 25 tara tarkari barutte nami tingla 70 80000 taka laabha barutte navella tara tarkari beladre nami thumba anukula agutte raithru thumba munde varabodu so if you have to become a akshay kalpa farmer your land has to go through a 2 to 3 year transformation process where it becomes organic so the soil becomes organic the land on which the cow lives becomes an organic piece of land basically the cows are living in a healthy stress free environment they're free to roam around they're not tied they're not tethered they have access to food and water 24 bar 7 so when they're living in an environment like this which is extremely hygienic and loving they're not in a stressful situation when they're not stressed they don't fall sick often when they don't fall sick often there's no need for antibiotics to be administered on the cows antibiotic resistance is becoming a largest threat to human kind today and a uh, meat and dairy industry are contributing to a very large extent to this we don't want to go in that direction so akshay kalpa milk is free of antibiotics it's free of induced growth hormones and it is free of stress hormone so this is our model farm all the animals are having ear tags it's mainly for identification and for insurance purpose so what happens we have a app like moan app in that app or uh, each and individual animals are registered and like whatever we get like deworming vaccination and uh, some animal treatments so everything will be entered in that app okay and we will maintain the uh, data records and uh, whenever we type that individual tag number we will get entire history about that animal so there are uh, bmcs bmc stands for bulk milk coolers spread across these 1000 farms as soon as the milking happens at the farm level this uh, milk will be pooled into a bmc it will be immediately cooled chilled to 4 degree celsius so immediately we receive the milk and we do uh, start uh, processing the milk with the basic filtration we reach it and store it in the silos so once we receive the milk the base process is pasteurization so we have a pasteurizer with 5 kl capacity where the milk is heated to 72 degrees celsius and hold for 15 seconds and then immediately chilled less than 4 degrees celsius to ensure the growth of microorganisms have been inhibited so that's the first and foremost step of every process 
uh, that milk undergoes. So once milk is come to a factory, so the milk will undergo nearly 27 test parameters. So including it's a quality parameters and it's a quantitative parameters. We work with a thousand farms. Uh, they are all tech uh, data and analytics uh, driven. So we use uh, various technical platforms to capture the live data of cow herd, like number of cows, number of milking uh, cows, number of dry cows, cows, what is its growth pattern over a period of a time. That is being uh, captured live across all the thousand farms. We have continued to preserve that, that whole thing that people want milk on a daily basis. But the way we've been able to give milk to people in the cities is by relying a lot on tech. So tech has added the layer of convenience. So beforehand we know uh, how many people are ordering for tomorrow's milk. On the basis of that we're able to package it and send the right quantity to the city. So we are servicing over a lakh of customers today. Uh, primarily in Bangalore, Chennai and Hyderabad. So on a daily basis, there is the data we understand from what is happening on the app and the indent that is getting placed. So all of this gets compiled in one place and only on the basis of that, uh, we understand the stock requirement for the next day and it gets sent. So if we want to service Bangalore, we have a model farm in Tiptur and then many farms around. Chennai will be serviced from Puriyambakkam. Hyderabad will be serviced from some farm that we build over there. We are also launching in uh, Bombay and Pune. So those are our new markets and we are very excited about this launch uh, because we are taking it now beyond the south of India. We are taking it slightly higher. Uh, we are also looking at uh, you know, taking our milk to uh, Delhi uh, and the NCR region. So that is how we are relying on tech. Tech is helping us to transport extremely good quality food products from our farms, from the villages to the city in the best way possible with very little or zero nutrition loss and with uh, and maintaining the quality of the product through cold chain. So to this effect of making farming viable, today an average Akshay Kalpa farmer earns up to 1 lakh rupees per month. That is what we have achieved. We've caused about 30 to 40 percent of Akshay Kalpa farmers have reverse migrated. They've gone from cities back to the villages to become uh, farmers again. So, for all, these are all the reasons why Akshay Kalpa started. We wanted to change all this. And to this effect, we have around a little more than 1,000 farmers with us around Tiptur right now who become Akshay Kalpa farmers and a little over 300 near Puriyambakam in uh, close to Chennai. So, that is what we have uh, achieved so far.